Bobby Burke is an Emmy-nominated TV host and author and entrepreneur, but he's best known for his interior design work. And now he has a new book. Look at it. It's called Right at Home, How Good Design is Good for the Mind. And Bobby is joining us live in studio to talk all about it. Thank you so much for being of here course. with us. So good to see you again. It's good to see you again, too. We sat down for a Java with Jamie. Right, where's my coffee? <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll do that next Voice time. Voice of God. Where's my coffee? <laughs> the director gets on the, uh, over. If someone can get him a cup, bring it in. Uh, but I was in your home, and it is so beautifully designed. Thank I mean, you. obviously, that's your brand. Yeah. But, but it seems like you really think about everything within your home, and you do it because you say it actually does help your mental health. You know, I always want people to think of it this way. Your home is kind of like your phone charger. You know, okay. if you don't get your phone plugged in at night or if there's a short in the cord, your phone doesn't make it through the next day. Right. It's the same with your home. Your home is like your charger and it needs to really recharge you because if you don't get recharged at night, you're not going to make it through the next day. So really think of your home as like where everything starts. Well, and that's so you're not just talking about the pieces of furniture no. or the fabrics that are used. You're yeah. talking about the functionality of yeah, the house. I mean, when it comes to like the furniture, this that's actually the stuff I'm talking about the least. Okay. I'm I'm talking about filling your home with things that make you happy, and that's anything from the colors on the wall to the plants in your house to the furniture. You know, people are always like, you know, how do I figure out what my design aesthetic is? And my response how is... How do I figure well, out what my design <laughs> Exactly, exactly. Is. My response is actually let's normalize not asking people what their design aesthetic is because it's not about finding out, oh, am I mid-century or oh, am I minimalist oh, or am I maximalist? It's about figuring out what makes you happy. Okay. So thinking about... What's your dream vacation? What's Ooh. your favorite television show? Like maybe it's Mad Men. Oh, you'll probably like mid-century. Okay. You know, what's your favorite article of clothing? If it's a chunky knit sweater, you'll probably like like chunky knit throws and pillows. Like infuse your home with the things that make you happy. And it just doesn't have to be about design. And I always recommend to don't start with design. Start, start with the with things that make you tick. That actually makes a lot of sense. And I noticed in the book, you, the, the chunky sweater, chunky blanket idea. And yeah. I immediately thought that is, it's so simple, but it's something we don't really think about. The other um, part in the book that you have in your hand right now, it is a beautiful book, by the way. Um, one of the other things you have in there that I like is about in the kitchen. Your mm -hmm. kitchen should act as a sous chef. Yes. And I am going to take that to heart because <laughs> I feel like I'm constantly, for some reason, we all set up our kitchens where like we're, we're chasing the items that we need to use to yes. actually cook and a meal. I always say do the arm test. Like the things that you use all the time, if you can't just reach up and get it, you need to move it, you need to reorganize it. If you're having to like fumble through things to get the things that you normally need to cook and do it functionally, then you should change that. So a couple of tips, articulate what makes you happy. Yes. As I said to you, as a 40 plus year old woman who's moved in with a 40 plus year old man into one space, we have a lot of stuff. I'm I said, sure. how do I get rid of it? You said, just start. Just start. That, you know, we always procrastinate for the things that give us anxiety or things that make us nervous, but the longer you wait, the more anxiety it's actually gonna give you. You know, okay. chaos around you creates chaos in your mind. So you gotta know what to let go. Yeah, and, and if you're not using it, let go of it. Or if it doesn't spark joy, like Marie Kondo would say, <laughs> <laughs> Let go of it. And people are always like, well, I get overwhelmed. So I say start small. Start with a junk drawer. Start with a small closet. Because then when you accomplish that, you're getting those little endorphins of accomplishment. And you want to maximize things like your mood. So think about exactly. lighting. I mean, yeah, so we talk about color. You know, when I was like five or six years old, my mom had decorated my whole room in red. <gasps> right? She was like, little boys, fire engines, yeah, they like red. But I knew like that red just did not make me feel good. So I ended up redecorating my room in all blue at like five or six years old, getting new bedspread and curtains and pillows, because I knew that blue just made me feel better. <laughs> How old were you when you did that? Five or six years old. Okay, so you've been destined yeah, yeah, for yeah. this I've for I've been destined for this long long time. my whole life. So those are the type of things we talk about. This isn't just one of those books where it's a beautiful coffee table book, right. where all these pretty pictures that often will make you feel worse about your space yeah. because those pictures you just something that most people can never accomplish I mean my house doesn't look like that all the time this is a book about teaching real people how to live in their home and how to make their homes really work for them from plants to color to lighting to how to deal with grief and design oh. you know I just lost my father recently and oh, I set sorry. this book on the counter when I went home last week and I came out to my mother reading that page almost forgetting that it was in the book and she's like this really really helped me and so I kind of felt like I I wrote that for her, not even realized I was writing it for her. So there's everything, every aspect of design to really make your home work for you. That's what this is about. It's not about making you feel bad about your space. It's about making you feel good in your space. And living. Yes. Bobby, thank yeah. you so much. Thank I want to let people know that there is a book signing Friday, September 15th at Barnes & Noble at The yeah. Grove. So you can locally come out and check that out. And also the book comes out September 12th. September 12th. So 
hit up your local bookstore. <laughs> Thank you, For Jane. more information on Bobby and his new book, you can check out our website as well at kcalnews.com and click Scene on TV.